Now I'd like to share with you the process for applying the Dragonfly 2 channel laryngeal surface electrode to the endotracheal tube. The Dragonfly electrodes come in a purple box like the one you see here and the uh, all the information that you need is found on the label there on the box to properly identify what you have here. I'm going to go ahead and open up the box. And inside, I'll find uh, the electrode as well as an instructional insert. And this insert provides the information you need to verify you're choosing the properly sized electrode for the endotracheal tube you're using and it provides information on how to apply the electrode and how to position it uh, for intubation. In this case we are going to be using an LSC 500 DCS which is for endotracheal tubes with inner diameters of 6.0 to 7.5 millimeters. In this case, I have a 7.0 millimeter endotracheal tube that I'll be using. We recommend the use of a stylet to straighten the endotracheal tube when applying the electrode. And I will turn it over now so that the bottom or posterior side of the tube is facing up. Now moving over to my laryngeal electrode, I'll remove it from the peel pouch. Keep in mind that this product is packaged sterile and proper care should be taken to maintain cleanliness when working with the product. The product comes in a plastic insert that helps hold it in position. So the next step after removing it from the package is removing it from this insert. The next step is to uncoil the connectors at the end of the lead wire bundle it's just wrapped around a few times for packaging and now you see that it comes apart quite easily. Okay, once I have uncoiled the wire, I can turn my attention now to the electrode itself. What I'm going to be doing is uh, grabbing the electrode here at its base where it connects with this, this tail and I will be pulling back a little bit to expose the release liner and, and separate it from the adhesive back. Okay, with that done, I'm going to hold the electrode and look through the, the clear uh, backing so that I can, can see the tube behind it. And I'm going to position it so the pairs of silver stripes are evenly spaced two on each side of the bottom of the tube. Now I'm going to place the electrode right on the midline of the posterior portion of the tube just below the cuff where the cuff or the balloon meets the tube. Then what I'm going to do is press my finger along the bottom to make sure it's adhered to just the location that I've chosen. My next step is to take the larger side of the electrode and wrap it all the way around the tube starting in the middle and going all the way around underneath and then pressing out to the corners as you can see here out to the edges. Now half of the electrode recording surface is on the tube. I'll now go to this side and press from the middle. It's going to overlap a portion of the electrode that came around on the bottom and then I'll go out to each edge and press it down. Now the electrode is adhered. I'm going to just press everywhere to ensure that it's properly adhered all the way around. Next, if the anesthesiologist would like a curvature in the tube to aid in the intubation, we recommend that that bend be placed above, a below and above the electrode and not on the electrode itself. This helps to ensure that the electrode stays adhered uh, in all locations to the tube and that there are no edges protruding. Thank you.